So I'm constantly being reminded of this whole KSI versus Logan thing. And I'll just let you know right now, it's probably never going to happen. Or if it does, it's going to happen a long time down the road. Because they keep hyping it and hyping it and hyping it and nothing comes of it. Every single time. It's like, at, w- at what point is are you just guys, uh, uh, geez, are you guys just going to admit, hey, we are not going to do this for a while. They're not going to do that because, you know, their name gets brought up again when they bring each other up. I mean, I, KSI fought somebody, uh, Faze Temper, I think it was. And up until the day, I really did not hear about it. And I only knew one other person on the card who was Faith Ordway, and she got rocked. Like, I think I want to, want to be like, I want to say like a minute, minute 30 into the first round, she was done for. And yeah, I've talked about how YouTube boxing has sort of plateaued, and people will talk about it, but it has nowhere near the same hype. And part of that is, okay, well, we're just not seeing the same level of names. Even like a Bryce Hall and an Austin McBroom, there was a lot of marketing that went into that. There was a lot of you know fanfare around it. There was a lot of things, just people realizing that something was going down and wanting to talk about it. With this, it's just a lot of people talking a lot of trash and nothing really happening. And they'll throw an insult at each other on Twitter every once in a while and they'll continue to do it. But nothing's really going to come of it. Which I think is a genuine shame because I would like to see a fight between the two of them. But as it stands, it's, it's just not going to happen. Uh, at this point, I think that KSI has better chances because he's been getting back into the fighting game. And I feel like he's trying to warm himself back up. Get back into that headspace that he'll need to be in to beat someone like a Jake Paul or even a Logan. But... I don't know if he's there yet. Even though Jake hasn't fought in what seems like a few months, I feel like I'll keep circling back to this conversation because I bring it up, I want to talk about it, and then it just comes back to, oh, who will win? And, oh, we don't know. And we're just going to have to wait and see, wait and see, and wait and see. And it's like, this fight better be good. And I do want to say that. This fight had better, you know, live up to all the hype that they've been giving it for the past, I would say, what, like two, three years, maybe? Maybe even longer than that. It's been hyped and hyped and hyped and hyped. And so, if it doesn't deliver, like, it's just a pure disappointment at this point. If it's not a, like a come down, to, if it's not like a knockout, or like they run too much, if one person runs too much, it's going to be a ton of ridicule because people are really expecting a good fight. You know, these guys have been talking for, like I said, a while. And at some point, you have to put up or shut up, which is what makes me think that this fight isn't going to be happening for a while because I think they tried to schedule something in, like, August of next of this year. It was next year when they tried to schedule it, and nothing really came of it. I don't think any contracts got signed. And it's honestly, you know, in their best interest to keep dragging it out. As much as it will be boring for a good amount of time, you know, they probably don't even care about that. They're just like, hey, man, we can get more money. And maybe, you know, they build the hype up to, you know, the levels of KSI's first big fight. You know, that's what started all of this. And so if they can get to something of that caliber, I'm sure they would all be excited just off of pure pay-per-view numbers, which would be astronomically better than what they've all done. And especially given that, like, the, the pumpkins that they've been fighting recently. I think it would be a nice change of pace. I would like to see uh, Logan versus Mike on the undercard. Uh, I I do think Mike would win, but I I think it would be a nice fight if Logan puts his all into it. I know that Logan's trying to go through a a redemption arc right now, and it's a little bit cringy, uh, but I'm definitely mad at him for stealing money from all those people. So, uh... Logan, if you see this, disregard that pe- previous statement. I want to say that actually I think you can win and I think you should go and train uh, the bare minimum just uh, just enough against Mike because he's old and I think that you should not take him serious and don't watch for his uppercut and make fun of his, uh, uh, his bald head. Yeah, I, th- I think you should call him bald in- at the weigh-in. Yeah, and then... 
just make sure, remember, he has no uppercut, so don't watch for it. Uh, but in all seriousness, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is just a quick little rant that I had on my mind, and I wanted to put it out there. So, 